Hello and welcome to another LEGO Batman movie set review. This is set 70901, Mr. Freeze Ice Attack. And uh, yeah, awesome new box designs from LEGO where all of them use tapes that are easily removed from the side so people who collect these and collect the boxes can easily flatten them. And uh, the boxes also feel way more durable than previous ones and slightly thinner. So that's great because they put a little bit of plastic shine on this. That definitely makes it more uh, durable. And here's a quick look at the back of the box. And uh, at the bottom here, there you can see a bunch of spare pieces. That's a lot. That's a lot of pieces. Um, a lot of pieces here. Extra batarang and stuff. Uh, which is useful. Oh, I'm so sick of these batarang back blades or whatever they call them. There's so many of them. Uh, they'll stick here. A lot of studs, different glass pieces. It's an amazing amount of stuff you get in here. Um, spare pieces that are completely useless also include this uh, stud shooter piece because there's not enough stud shooter guns to go around for the shooting mechanic piece. Uh, but the most useful spare piece is an extra bat utility belt um, that you can definitely add to your older older figures uh, and, and you know give them some more detail if you like that sort of thing and of course you have an instruction in manual inside that wasn't folded up hooray that's that's nice and uh, no stickers uh, used for this set by the way it's all just built that's nice sticker sheets get a little bit annoying sometimes and it's just actually like a little booklet so that's cool uh, on the back there advertises some older superhero stuff um, that uh, you've already seen a lot of time. Other sets there, uh, some of the sets are not shown on here, including the Riddler car, which is probably the most bang for your buck set because there's five minifigures in there and it's roughly the same price as the Joker one. It's it's not a big set. And the back here there's pretty cool. I'm glad it comes with a boat at least, not another Batmobile because we have far too many of those and uh, I really need to get some of these soon. And here it says, yeah, you can combine all these sets together to make a big one. I have the Mr. I don't have the Scarecrow one yet, but I can at least combine the Mr. Freeze one to the Joker one. So I'm going to do that and see how that goes. Because I have I've filmed the Joker one already, but uh, I didn't do any combining and stuff. Speaking of combining, let's start looking at the pieces. Here's the first piece. On its own, it's just a flat piece. On, uh, but, uh, you know, this this is on the hinge that moves up. So if you have the Scarecrow piece, you plug it in to this, I think. And ah, there's a little hook there, that's what that's for. And if I bring in the Joker piece here, there's a little hook handle there. So you just go snap, and there you go. This is now a bigger piece. And it all fits and matches in tones. And that, that's great. That's really cool. And uh, a computer screen here. Now, I must be mistaken, there should be a sticker sheet in here. Did I lose it? Oh, whoops. Thank God I didn't lose it. There is a sticker sheet in there. Oops, sorry. Forgot about the sticker sheet. There's a little bit of sticker sheet in there for the computer screen. Hmm. So that's cool. Now I've combined these two into making a bigger uh, hideout. That's really nice that they, they've done that. So when I eventually might get the Scarecrow one as well, I guess they're pumping in scary gas into the pizzas. I don't know. Um, or Joker gas. So that's cool. So on the piece on its own, if I just detach this again. This is still a nice background piece. In fact, you could say, imagine this to be that room from uh, Arkham city where you're fighting Mr. Freeze and there's just one of the computer panels that you, you're hiding Batman behind. So that's really really good and I like the colors of this whole design as well and when you add this piece to it that just makes it better. You can also I guess turn it on an angle and stuff and have a little triangle corner there. This is really cool. Uh, I like that they've done that. It's not often when this is a really nice gimmick that uh, you don't see too often in Lego sets these days. That's really cool. Um, it's probably why the Minecraft set also appeals to me a bit more because um, you can combine Minecraft sets and make bigger Minecrafty stuff. Second piece is this ice block which uh, sadly I was also mentioning in the other Mr. Freeze set, the Junior set, that uh, this piece no longer has uh, two tones of uh, color plastic molded in. Uh, they have built this to open up and they have built you know got us to build it with white piece underneath for some odd reason gray pieces as well. Uh, what would have been better if it was all white, just so it's all like snow and ice and stuff. So you got the figure stuck in there. And so you just have a little panel there, which um, you can hold it like that too, I guess. Just have a bigger piece, but um, it's okay. It's a nice piece to have. You can't have a Mr. Freeze set without some ice. And then you have, you know, like a Batman figure, this guy here, which you're sort of and a little cup. Got an extra cup. So, oh, the cup actually goes on next to the computer screen, I think. Obviously a nice cup of hot cocoa. The other main piece here is the Mr. Freeze battle suit. You guys get out of the way. And um, 
Mr. Freeze is advertised to hold the gun on his own or in the battle suit. Mr. Freeze is stronger than regular human beings due to his... I don't know why, I think it's due to his suit. Uh, the suit looks okay. The gun itself, we've got the stud shooter there and uh, it's, it looks okay on the battle suit but uh, if Mr. Freeze is holding the gun himself it does look ridiculously oversized. I mean, just imagine him sort of holding a gun like that. Like, oh my god. Um, but the suit, the, the gun design itself is actually pretty nice. Um, it, it looks a little bit messy and complicated, but um, we just noticed the little bits of detail just hanging off it, literally. Some ice tanks and stuff. It actually looks pretty nice. And the overall color design of this guy is pretty good as well. Uh, the ball joints on here move very well. And he's got a rotating joint here just for the top of the body. Um, extra ball there for stuff. So yeah, the, the he can pose and stand very well. Let's do stand on one leg. Oh, almost. You can see. Very posable, posable figure. It's nice. And so you open up here, Mr. Free stands inside. Now he can't quite hold on to the handlebars. Might seen here. So we close that up. Uh, he, you can just you have, just have to hide his hands in there. So he looks like he's holding controls inside when he's not actually doing that. Which is fine because it's hidden and all, so that's good. Uh, nitpick of this set is these tubes. They get in the way and they don't quite plug in too far in the bottom area that they can pop out quite easily. Not not that one, I think the top ones actually. The bottom ones fit okay, one of these don't fit too well. I think the top ones... Oh no, it's tight now, maybe when I was building it it was a bit loose. But um, I kind of felt that these tubes would pop out a little bit too easy, but not anymore. Oh, that's me corrected, and I'm not going to cut that out of the video, so I look stupid. Um, yeah, I was just building it, it was coming out really easily, now it's not. Hmm. Here's a good look at the back of the suit. Very, very nice details, and again, no stickers on this, so... Uh, and they still managed to get all this detail out, so I like this mech suit a lot. Now, for the main reason to get this set, are some really, really nice figures. Uh, Batman here has uh, it's the new standard Batman body type for the movie series. He's got a flame gun here uh, to deal with Mr. Freeze. Heat wave, be proud. The flame gun has an orangey stud there, just to add a little bit more effect. So it's a, it's a nice gun. Another bat blade thing. I'm so bored of these. Go away. Uh, the body itself is the same as the other, you know, Batman movie stuff. However, if I bring in the Batman from the little Joker set. I swear, at the end of all these videos, I'm going to have to do a video just comparing on the bat faces. But you can see the expressions are already different. Just turn this head around, you can see he's got another face there. So if I just take this guy's hair off and turn the head around... we have got the more standard angry face, so... But I like the squint in the eyes, the squinty eyes. That's uh, pretty uh, funny. So I like that a lot. That's great. So many different faces. And of course, you've got the utility belt there, but just... It's the same on both these figures. So if I just remove that, you have a nice little black sort of standard Batman body without a belt. That's very useful. And here's a good look at the back. So and look at the back of the belt as well, which re does remind me of the Tim Burton suit a lot. Um, which is one of the things. The original Bat Lego Batman sets that came out, all the Batman Batman figures, the black suit was based on the Tim Burton one, up to the point where it even had a gold logo instead of yellow that they use now. Uh, but the rest of the figures were very Batman animated series like, so uh, we eventually did get some suits that look more like the animated series one, but um, it was just a nice combination of uh, designs that they chose to do, replicate. Uh, this guy has a shotgun, I think. And um, it's got this whole gas tank mask thing going on. I'm pretty sure is he like a fireman or something, or fire marshal, um, or just a police officer in a special suit. Now the instructions um, don't actually say that he's any particular character. He's just supposed to be a generic security guard. However, I guess if you don't want the dark skin Commissioner Gordon, you want a more classic light skin one. This could look like him, and the one good thing about this figure is that he actually has a uh, back print and back face print, so that's cool. Let's see, let's turn around the back and he has a standard sort of calm face. And um, despite how simple the back is, there is a little bit of belt detail print on there, so that's cool. And here's the front with this scared face when he's being frozen. Finally we have Mr. Freeze here, we have just a uh, newer, like one of these alien armor pieces with a little dome piece on top. Um, did that off. Head has no back print, by the way, uh, or details. And um, very nice little computer screen panel plugged to his armor. 
I just removed that so you can see more of his body. And there he is. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good, even without that bulky armor. It looks like a Mr. Freeze, where lots of nice details there. Uh, not the best, not my favorite Mr. Freeze. And I realize at this point I have enough Mr. Freezes to do a video just comparing all of them. There's at least five of them. Um, but it's so not the best Mr. Freeze here uh, in terms of detail. It looks a little bit off, nothing too special. Um, the color scheme is also a little bit boring for me. Um, it's still a nice figure just compared to other Mr. Mr. Freezes, the other ones that look amazing. So, um, yeah, not too keen on this one, but um, he looks good, I guess. The face is good though, the head, the head and face is good. Just the body is a little bit, um, I don't know. Something doesn't quite hit me right with the body design. I don't like it too much. The set itself is pretty good. You got some nice display pieces to go in the background. And the mech suit is um, actually pretty decent as well. I'm a bit fed up with like Hulkbusters and giant mechs as well, but the Mr. Freeze one kind of makes sense. It's it's part of his motif. Uh, the Bat mech from a while ago was like, oh, come on, really? Iron Man has one and Batman has one, but uh, for here, and it's not ridiculously big. It almost fits with uh, Groot size, um, even though Groot figure was pretty big uh, but it makes sense for Mr. Freeze so I like it here so the entire set is a good set the minifigures Batman is nice to have uh, different expressions I like that so even though the suit's the same it, it's I'm gonna be very happy collecting all the different Batman different facial expressions and I'm gonna have to do a video of that as well like here's all the Batman faces um, security guard is good I like that they've given him double face print that's um, you know, not something we tend to see that often, and, print, and since it's printed on a flesh-colored skin, this is going to be a very useful head to use for many people, animators, for example, if they're animating with flesh-colored uh, figurines only, and you got, um, you know, again, more faces to work with, and more generic faces to work with to go in the background and stuff. Uh, the gimmick of the set is also very nice, attaching this to the Joker and Scarecrow set to make a bigger bigger display piece is, is very cool. It's very Asian and Japanese type, you know, you buy one toy, but then you buy the second toy, and suddenly your original toy gets more playability. Uh, I like that stuff a lot, it's like the more, obviously you have to buy more, but the more you get, the, the, it doesn't just double your play, it actually triples or quadruples your play the more you get. And uh, even if you don't get the other sets the set itself is still self-contained and very nicely done so that's good if it was crappy done and not self-contained and it only becomes fun when you get the second piece that's when i have issue with it but it doesn't it's good on its own and it's even better with other play sets and it's uh with the three of the smallest play sets as well so lego hasn't like decided to make us like fork out and buy three big sets to combine it it's combined three cheap-ish smaller sets together so i think that's really great uh, the Mr. Freeze figure itself is a little bit bland for me. I don't like it too much, but maybe that's a nice contrast to... I think it's just a color scheme. I don't. It's not sharp enough for me to like it too much. But um, it is still probably a good contrast to the very colorful background pieces and very colorful other characters like the Joker. Or the Scarecrow one looks quite uh, colorful as well. So it's nice to go in the middle just to even out the colors and make it not look too crazy. So I can understand that. So the figure itself is... Decent, it's just the color scheme is not particularly for me. I much prefer the Junior's Mr. Freeze figure. That might be my favorite at the moment um, compared to this one, which was released just slightly before this bunch of sets. So overall, I do recommend this set and I really recommend that you pick up all three sets to combine it into really, you know, it's like you pay little bits and you get to end up with a really big play set. I, I really like that a lot. So I highly recommend that. As always, subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Same bad time, same bad channel. And of course, don't forget, I mentioned uh, on my channel that uh, I will be reviewing the very rare, very exclusive, very limited Lego Batman movie, Battle Pod, when I get it somewhere in the middle uh, <coughs> of uh, February, I think. Uh, whenever they're giving them out from uh, Toys R Us. I have no information whatsoever on where else you're going to be able to get it, but so far I'm one of the 200 people who've managed to pick that up from uh, Lego Toys R Us in Hong Kong.